Okay then, now we're going to try and look at some of these uh, sounds um, and the way they work with phonetic symbols. Now these are the easy ones, P, T, K and so on. Um, so they should be pretty easy to get. Uh, have a quick look at this. For example, pi, just a P. Tie, the T in tie, just a T. K, K sound in key, just a K. B, B is the same thing. Very, very simple. And it's pretty much the same thing with these sounds as well. The G sound in guy, M sound in my, a L L sound in lie, uh, the N sound in night. It's all pretty much the same. Very easy to remember. The F sound in far. Um, with far, you can hear the R sound in the UK when it's followed by a vowel. In the US sound system, you can always hear the R sound far. Very, you get the stress in very, and the um, period indicates the beginning of a syllable. Let's look at the next one. We've got way and way. High, the h, h sound in high is just an h, the s sound in psi, z sound in fizz. It's all pretty much the same. It's very, very simple for English speakers, basically. Uh, it gets a bit more complicated here. The n sound, th, thi, th, th, sh, j, ch, j. It's a little bit more difficult. A little bit more unusual looking. So rang, you can see the n at the end of the word. Thigh, th, th. then, th, then. So a little bit more unusual. Shy, shy, vision. You can see the j in the middle there. The upside down, upside down e a uh, funny mark at the beginning. That's stress. Vision. Vision. Cheap. Cheap. Jive. Now you've got some variation in some cases. Uh, you can kind of choose. We're going to try and keep it as simple as possible. And we're going to adhere to the, uh, the Cambridge Advanced Learners System. They use for Rai, for example, the R sound is a straightforward R. And in the case of a Y, yes, uh, slightly more complicated, it's like a J. And then far, it's just an F. So that's the system we're going to use. Uh, let's look at the vowels, for example. Sheep is just uh, an I. Sheep, it's lengthened with the two dots. Ship, the shorter it sound, is like a capital I, a little capital I, or just a straightforward up and down line. Um, ship and sheep. Sheep and ship. Hate, e, e. Hate. Head. Very simple. E, head. Could run through these uh, very quickly. Had, had, had. Hard, hard, hard in the UK. Hard, hard in the US. Hot, hot, it's more open sound, hot, hot. Store, store, dog, dog. Foot, foot, code, code. 
have, have, cued, never, never. You can see the upside down E there, uh, never, never. It's never in here, never, never in America. Very similar to that, you've got upper, a stress on the upper, it's a real sound, upper, almost exactly the same sounds really, upper, upper. The upside down V and the upside down E, very, very similar. Upper arm, you can hear the R, and it's followed by a vowel, upper in the US. Load. Load, 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 load. Very difficult to distinguish between these. Bird, bird is like a funny three lengthened bird, bird. In American, it's bird, 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 learn. Learn, learn. Stern, 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 stern. Burn, 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 burn. Car, car in the UK, a car is in the car park, followed by a vowel, you can hear the R sound, car is, car, car in the US, car, car, it's not cur, in my hometown dialect it's car, my car is in the car pack. My car is in the car pack. You can see the stress marks there. My car is in the car pack. My car is in the car pack. It's kind of a funny way to speak, I know. But there you go. My car is in the car pack. My car is in the car pack. Notice the stress. My car's in the car park. My car's in the car park. You get the stress at the beginning, and you can see the funny little mark just before the M in my. My car's in the car park. Okay, let's have a little quiz. Get a piece of paper and see if you can write down in IPA. See if you can remember. It be a bit difficult, but you know, you can practice this later. Okay, sheep, you know that one? Remember that? Okay, don't miss it. I'll give you that one. What about ship? Remember that? Try writing it down. Remember? Have a think. There you go. Something like that. Okay, let's try another one. How about jumping jive? Write that one down. Jumping jive. Have a think. Try writing it down. Can you remember? Jumping jive. Jumping jive. If you practice later, you'll be able to do this. Jumping jive. Something like that. Jumping jive. Of course, if you have the stress marks, remember the stress and the uh, syllable markers? Jumping jive, jumping jive. See the period marking the end of syllables. So jumping jive with stress markers. Okay, well, I'll check it out. Write that. Check it out. 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 Write it down. Check it out. How do you write that? Check it out. Check it out. Something like that, probably. 
check it out. How about the stress markers? Check it out. Where would the stress go in this case? Check it out. Probably something like that. Check it out. Check it out. There's too stressed. Check out. Check it out. You can see the period indicating a new syllable. Check it out. Check it out. I suppose the American pronunciation would be a little bit different. Check it out. I suppose the final T would also be softened. We'll think about that later. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Propaganda. How about that one? Propaganda. Write it down. Propaganda. 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 It doesn't have to be perfect. Just give it a try. Propaganda, what do you think? Probably something like that. You can see there's a little mark at the beginning. That's the lighter stress. Propaganda. Upside down E. Uh. Ganda. The hard A uh sound. Uh. Ba propaganda. Upside down E at the end again. A. Uh. Propaganda. 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 Ganda is where the hard stress is. Propaganda. 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 And maybe in American, slightly longer. Propaganda. Propaganda. I can't really do it, to be honest. But propaganda is a little bit different. Okay? Just playing with this, of course. Don't worry too much. You can practice this later. What about this? Illustration. 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 Write it down. Illustration. 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 Probably something like that. Probably the uh, the main stress would be on this. Illustration. Illustration. Secondary stress at the beginning on the it. Illustration. Upside down E very small. You can hardly hear it. After the sh, illustration, you can see the uh, period marking the syllables. Illustration, illustration, illustration. Priority, write it down. Priority. How about that? Priority. 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 Something like that. Priority. See the um, stress? Priority. In American, it's going to be priority. Priority. You can see the T is softened with that funny little mark. We've still got the stress markers and the syllable markers. Priority. 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 What about this? Basket. Basket. Basket, basket, basket. So, you know, different ways of saying it. People say it in different ways. Um, some people say basket. I don't. Basket. Sounds a bit funny to me, but that's that. Basket, basket, basket. Put it in the basket. Basket. So the stress on the bar. Long R. Basket, 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 basket. It's closer to the way I say it. Basket or basket, 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 basket. You know, it's different ways of saying it. Something like that. Waiter, 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 waiter. How about that? Write it down. Waiter, waiter, waiter. The waiter is in the room. Waiter. See, it's when it's followed by a vowel, you get the R, R sound coming in. Waiter. Waiter. Stress at the beginning. Waiter. Syllable just before the T. In American pronunciation, waiter. Waiter. Something like that. I can't really do it, of course. But it's a softer T sound. Waiter. Waiter. And the R, the R sound comes in on the R. What about this one? Imbecile, imbecile. In UK pronunciation, it's imbecile, 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 imbecile. 
American, slightly different. Imbecile. 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 Something like that. Imbecile. Imbecile. You can see the stress. You can see where the, um, the syllables are marked. Imbecile. Whereas in American pronunciation, it's imbecile. It's a shorter I. Uh, sil sound at the end. Imbecile. Imbecile. Okay then. Well done. So we'll stop there. We'll carry on with that. Some other stuff a little bit later. Well done. Take it easy.